Going on with the head coach of the Lady Flames, Marty Rowe for the Lady Flames. Gets a 61-53 victory from Mississippi College in the first round of the GSC tournament. And coach wasn't an easy game. We knew it would be tough. It would be tough coming in. Mississippi College got to the free throw line quite a bit here tonight. But you were able to overcome it, especially that last little stretch. Your defense, I thought, was pretty solid. Out, you know, outside of giving up the fouls, a solid defense. Well, we do, I, I do think what we did, we did we guarded the way we wanted to, but then we fouled at the end of it. I mean, we swung at some tough shots. I mean, we were willing to give up tough twos. and. And we bailed them out, uh, uh, you know, multiple times, and, and that's where we just could not stretch a lead. And give them credit; they just keep putting their head down. They keep doing that. They keep attack the offensive glass like crazy. Um, they're a physical team. They're 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 tough to guard, especially with that right hand. And so to hang in there and make a run and make a stretch run. I mean, we we made one field goal in the fourth quarter. We went one for ten from in the fourth quarter. Uh, but we were able to get to the foul line. We were able to finish it off. I mean, that's a great toughness quality to be able to go to the foul line late and extend the lead. So, uh, uh, and then got some stretch, got some stops down the stretch with some weird lineups. I mean, right. you know, both post players, you know, uh, now with Kira being out with injury, you know, we're down to two posts and they both foul out. Addie has to step up. Mia's fouled out. Mila has to come in late. So we got a lot of, of great effort out of a lot of different people. And that's what it takes at this time of year. You just, who cares what it looks like? You just got to figure out a way to win and talk, advance. Talk about the play from Mallory tonight. Your, your senior leader, 15 to 16 from the free throw line. You talked about getting to the free throw line. She was able to do that, especially in that fourth quarter. She's the best player in the league. I mean, she's the best player in the league and, and she shows it night in, night out. And so, um, you know, we know when we step on the floor, we have the best player. And so, to be able to rely on her down the stretch. And I mean, again, she's beat up right now. We're trying to rest her. We'll rest her over the next couple of days, try to get her ready for Saturday. Uh, but just giving the ball back in her hands, we know how tough she is and how she can finish down the stretch. And, you know, get Mississippi College is long. They're athletic. They're big and strong at that guard spot. So you have to be creative on how you get to the get to the rim and, 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 and make plays late. And I thought we did a good job of that down the stretch. Always so hard to get back to Birmingham. We've done so. We'll take on the semifinals against Union in that semis. Mm -hmm. Just one of those things, another rivalry game, but this time on a neutral court. I mean, as soon as we got done with the Union game, uh, it, 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 you know, on, on last Thursday, Kelly sent me a text that said, hey, let it go. Let's go get CBU. Let's get ready for whoever we play on Tuesday, and let's try to go get them again on Saturday. So we were hoping to be back in this spot. So we'll go down there, and, and again, we love to play Union. Our, our team will be excited. Will be it won't be hard to prepare, right. and we'll get ready to prepare uh, and uh, go down there and have some fun. Lady Flames will take on Union in the GSC semifinals coming up on Saturday in Birmingham, Alabama.